And hello again. Who do you know? 502 does. Dave Herman, the artist, on uh, June 7th, 2017, doing his third part of the saber tooth tag ahead. So we're working on the skull, you know. So we're going to put in some cream color now that I selected. And we're just going up to here when we got cut off to change the opacity, take it back to 50%. And I don't want the brush to be too hard either. I'm going to take that down around the 50s. And I'm going to waft in uh, on a different layer. Let's, uh, let's make sure we're on a different layer. So two. This one I'm going to call line work uh, since I worked it. And layer properties. On my other screen, I'm changing the name to line work just so I don't get lost in my video. Boom, and then it will show up there, see line work. And then this one layer we're going to call shading, or coloring, sorry. So let's uh, double click that. Uh, nope, sorry, right click it. Layer properties. On the other screen, I'm writing in color layer. And then I have my uh, shading. So right now I'm on color layer. And I'm going to up the opacity a little bit because it wasn't showing. And start doing some filling in. So what's not happening here? I want to be an airbrush. And I don't know, I think a little more flow. Well, I seem to be in some peculiar mode. What is going on? So there's the brush. And whoa. Tell you, you just touch things and they run away in Photoshop. You know, you got to watch out for that running stuff. Okay. So we're going to go Shape Dynamics. We're going to go Airbrush. Transfer, forget it. Uh, shape dynamics, pressure on, pressure, uh, smooth and airbrush. Let's see what we get now. Oh, I'm still in the race. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Yeah, that's what happens, man. It's part of drawing. You know, I could keep starting these videos over and over and they'd be perfect and all that but you know what they do in the time lapse ones they edit that stuff out and they just show you the good stuff but i show you what to do if you make an error because you'll be imitating the guy and you go oh crap i just screwed the whole thing up what do i do and you don't know what to do but if you watch mine you will know what to do okay so here we go we're building this up now, you don't want these lines, let's say, right? So you go back to your other layer. Then you go to your eraser brush. You make, scale it down a little bit so you don't erase the whole skull. And see, I'm working on a different layer underneath this color. You don't see the color erasing, right? All you see erasing is my line work, my gesture stuff that I did to build it up. So that's, you know, point of interest here. You want to get... Uh, Now, this doesn't belong. This is a hole in the skull. This is a hole in the skull, right? So, okay. So, it's not erasing as well. So, you want to be at 100, and you want to be at 100, and then you want to get right down, down to that paper surface. All right? So, we're on there, and we are in erase. Let's make sure we're erasing. Yeah. And then you come back and erase underneath. And now, go back to your color layer. You don't want that there either. So we're erasing, and we're erasing in here. And that gives us a little bit of an idea of what's going on, too. And there'll be some erasers in between those teeth and stuff like that, but we're not there yet. Okay, so let's go back to our brush. Boom, boom, ba -da -ba -dum, boom. Okay, I like the 65 is good. We don't want a lot of pressure because we don't want it to come out solid. So we're like, I always go my pressure less than my opacity. That's just me. Okay, so you know if you go over this again, 
it's a little bit darker approaching the tone you picked and then if you wait you can come back and hit it again see so right now we're kind of dividing up some dark and light areas with a light shade that can be built up upon with other colors and shades so we're doing that if you see stuff like this and you don't like it you go to your eraser brush and you erase like this and if that's not erasing then it's on your line layer and you come back like this and this is what layers are all about I've talked about them a thousand times you can't talk about the beauty of working in layers enough it saves you so much work it makes your stuff go so easy and uh, you know typically when I'm just doing 10 minutes I don't get into this but now I'm refining this a little bit for you uh, so I'm going to be on the other layer, line work layer, and do like this, and just a few more minutes on the daily sketch part three here, and uh, you guys can see me working on this saber tooth tiger head, which I am erasing now some of the line work, and you can do that underneath your color layer. If you watch now, I'm taking out the line work structure without actually affecting any of the tone work. So here where we have extraneous lines in here, we're coming through and we're removing some of those. And these are good tips to remember. Uh, there's a thousand guys out there that will teach you how to draw. I'm showing you my method and it's always served me well. Of course, I'm not a high paying artist. I don't do any of this for a living. I'm having fun with it. but. I do work as a tattoo man. So now, uh, let's develop some of the bone in here, so you just so you can see what to do with that, because I'm not going to go to port part five, six, seven, eight, and so on. We did get carried away and get into three parts, which I had not planned. So let's go find a textured brush, which would be brush 39 in Photoshop that I kind of like to think around with. Let's get that one. And we'll select a browner shade, a little darker brown when I say browner. And speckle in some of this on the next layer with our brush. So let's, let's do some of that. And see, we're not getting that um, separation that we want. So make sure we're in the right brush. And then make sure we scale that big enough so that there's particles and maybe you have to go deeper so you can see contrast between those particles that's a purple we don't want that so control z that out uh, let's go with a different brush 39 is not going to be our brush on this our go-to brush although i like it it's not working let's see what 59 does let's try 59 and let's up the opacity to 100 for some brush work here and we'll go to a dark brown, like that maybe. And let's just speckle some of this in there. And it's adding some tone work that we can tolerate in a softer way, like a watercolor brush almost, see? And that's helping us build these sockets into believable depressions and stuff so we'll work with this brush for right now uh, gonna add a little more flow to it so it shows up a little better we're in that brush and there we go and this is a good way to define the socket and stuff like that see we can always come back and lighten it. You can go over these things. You can go under things. But right now, since we're short on time, and this is going to cut off any second, I'm just defining planes, as you watch, of existence. 
with this brush.